I think the issues have been with us uh, for many years. I mean, one of the key issues is the internet is a borderless technology in a world which still has national borders. So that is a, a clash of concepts. And the world is built up on a system of national sovereignty and the internet transcends national sovereignty. And that is, of course, marvelous uh, for all of us, and especially also for young people. Your friends are all over the world and you can connect with them without asking anyone, or without showing a passport. But at the same time, we have to recognize they're not only good people on the internet, they're also people who are bad actors, they are criminals. And that makes it actually much more difficult for law enforcement to chase the criminals. If you're here in Guadalajara and your wallet is stolen in Guadalajara, or worse still, if somebody does your bodily harm, then you know that the perpetrator is also in Guadalajara. But on the internet, it may happen to you here while you're in Guadalajara, that the perpetrator may sit somewhere else on a different continent. And this is sort of the underlying basic, very basic problem uh, we are facing with the internet and there are associated problems obviously uh, uh, freedom of expression, human rights, uh, privacy, protection of privacy but uh, these are not particular internet problems as such, they are also problems that are in the offline world so what is a crime offline is also a crime online what is a right offline is also a right online. And the, Europe, the United Nations Human Rights Council has recognized that, that human rights are, should also be respected online as they should be respected offline. So these are not specifically related to the internet, but the very nature of the internet makes it very complex because of the borderless nature of the internet.